Thanks a lot, Bethany. I agree. That dog is pretty cute. Well, I tell you what, it's the night of the year for many wrestling fans around there, and we've got our main reporter, Dan, out on the ground floor. How's it looking out there, Dan? Well, here we are, Tom, opening night of what some would call the match of the year. As all of you know, Macho Man Bo is undefeated this year, but there's a newcomer in town, and will he give that belt up? Mr. Macho, Mr. Macho, can you please give us a few words? Mr. Macho Bo always has words to give to his fans. Mr. Macho, after thousands of fights this year, you're still undefeated. But are you at all nervous about this new fighter? No, absolutely not, Dan. If anything, this is the most confident Macho Man Bo has been all year long. And I've got something to say to Mr. Gray Lee out there. I'm going to hook you, and I'm going to hold you up for all the world to see. And right when you're going to want to go back to your little mommy, you're not going to be able to. Because I'm going to take you, and I'm going to put you up on a wall mount up in my cabins out in the woods. And no one will be able to find you ever again. Strong words from a strong man, Mr. Macho. Back to you, Tom. Well, welcome back, everyone. Macho Man Boo here, ready to take down a Grayling wrestler on the Tiber River. If you think this is Macho Man Bo's first fight, then you are sorely mistaken, as we're gonna take this fish and turn him into a fish fry. Let's check out Macho Man Bo's equipment for this fight. Well, here we are on the Tiber River, as you can all see, and we're using today a feather light seven foot rod and a ghost reel 3000, but don't let that fool you. Any reel that's around this 9 to 10 pound range will do just fine. We're of course using our dark hornwort fiber line which we got from our live streams catching the dark hornwort around the fallen bridge. And I should plug in that if you haven't seen any of the BZ Hub live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, then you are really missing out. Attached onto this dark hornwort line, we've got a narrow spoon, quarter ounce, one odd hook, and although they've got many colors between silver, gold, purple, and this green and silver one, I thought the green and silver would do great for this area, knowing the other fish that would be in the waters. Looking at the map itself in all of the different areas that we can be fishing, there's only two that actually talk about Grayling being in the location, the Tiber Rocks, and also the Streaming Beauty. I see what they did there. So I think we run our best chance just starting out at one of these locations and seeing if we can pull out the old Grayling Wrestler and put him in a headlock. As per usual, Macho Man Bo is going to change the time to the best fishing time available, which is these two humps here, which definitely don't look like anything I know about. Let's forward time and start throwing out our feather light rod and the narrow spoon out to these here islands, making our way this direction. There's a couple of ways that you can be fishing this narrow spoon. You could, of course, be doing a stop and go, but a twitch little maneuver like this also does well to get those fish interested. Ooh, and that's a fish on right there. A big fish at that, stressing out our line. Ooh. But we'll, oh, that's a big fish right there. Macho Man Bo has him by the lip. Bring him in here, dude, a grayling monster. Come on now, 
wrestling, I'm wrestling you. I'm gonna put you into a headlock and never gonna let you go again. Here we go, getting him close to the side, but he's back out to 30. Oh, he's jumping. He's got a giant fin on his back like a sailfish. Pulling out line now, I like his spunk, but he's no match for Macho Man Bo. You can tell I turned the drag way down low, and he's stressing it out just to its breaking point, so that was a good thing to do. Here we go, though. We've got him at the end, and that's it! The Monster Grayling Wrestler of Tiber River. Easy peasy for Macho Man Bo. Put another tally down! My god, these voices, I'm telling you what. Ah. <laughs> my voice, my voice is so raspy. No, not really, but hey, this is great. I mean, really, we didn't do too much here. Um, he threw out to one of the first locations and immediately caught the Grayling Wrestler, and that is fantastic. A cool looking fish, honestly. Uh, I honestly never fished at Tiber River before. This was the first time coming here to get the Hornwort and then to get the Grayling Wrestler. So, uh, yeah, this is fantastic. First, uh, first fish, and it's the Grayling Wrestler, so, I mean, hey. What, what more can you say? Cool looking fish. Let's see what he now has to say about it. Holding it up to the world for all to see right there. And that is a fish, bro. That is a fish. Fantastic. Look at that. Well, fantastic, everyone. I, I have to say, I mean, what more can you say about it? What was the equipment we were, let's see, 8.096 pounds, 27.513 inches long, $1,035, 263 XP, I think it said. And let's keep them so we can see what happens now. Fantastic. Tiber Grayling Wrestler Monster, congratulations with your monster catch. Here are some great rewards for you. 3580 XP, $3550, and two bait coins for you, everyone. And then, of course, the awesome Grayling Wrestler Mount. Uh, couldn't ask for much more other than a cabin to put it in. Am I right? There he is, the old Grayling Wrestler, everyone. A fantastic catch. I hope this video was helpful in getting you the information you you need to go after your own Grayling Wrestler. Uh, that little narrow spoon first cast. And I mean, we really didn't catch out to very much. Just a little point of the island right there. Got us this Grayling Wrestler. Easy peasy, everyone. And I hope this helps you get your own Grayling Wrestler. If you've got your own Grayling Wrestler, or if you're thinking about going and getting it this Halloween season, make sure you comment down below and like the video if it was helpful in any way. If you're not subscribed to the BZ Hub, I've just got a couple words for you. What are you waiting for? Follow the BZ Hub, everyone, for more tips on Fishing Planet, and of course, just a great community to follow along. As we mentioned with the live streams there, you can hang out with all of us as we go fishing for uh, different stuff in the world, and it's just some awesome outdoors people that love to talk about fishing and hunting, and the hunter call the wild, and everything else as well. But that's gonna do it for this episode. Make sure you hit that subscribe and the bell so that you can make sure you see other Halloween episodes coming out here soon. But until then, Take care, everyone, and remember, we're one planet, one family, game on.